one of the things I've done at some point in my in my business is do individual visual coaching with people. So I would have a coaching conversation and I would take visual notes, kind of a life whiteboard, life mind mapping drawing, and then um, they would see it and would have some distance from it and could respond to it. So they would see kind of the conversation visually on the wall. And what I, the, the, the uh, type of questions that I was working with often was a new project, a new career, a, a, a phase, a life phase change. And to my surprise, it almost always came down to, I want to be more creative and I don't know how to do it. And I'm not creative and often like very emotional actually for people. And then I would sometimes say, but do you know, I just wrote here, you went maybe working in finance, but I wrote that you do a fashion blog, right? What else? How can you connect that? And I do the same in the trainings on, on legal visualization um, with lawyers. The first question is, how are you already doing this or doing something creative? And people will often know, it, it's similar to people who say, I don't sing, I can draw. Um, well, I like to cook, I like fashion, I like, I like gardening. I'm like, okay, there, there we go. So recognizing creativity is, first of all, it doesn't have to be drawing, painting, visual arts is how we typically tend to think of it, but it could, could, be, could look a million ways. And um, it could also be creative thinking and and to to acknowledge people that do those things not as a hobby outside of work because in the in the response that I get it means people take that fashion blog out of their being and I think law is maybe more than other professions has filtered that out and I think that comes from the really abstract minded nature of the work and abstract-minded nature of legal training. We filter out, we sift really well, but we take the life, we squeeze the life out of it. <laughs>